Hello and welcome again to AAM Gardening. Today I'll be giving you a late winter tour. Let the gardening begin. So, we're still in winter, so there's still a caution, but spring is on the way. You can see these beautiful, beautiful snowdrops. Just beautiful. Today is the 25th of February. You can see little buds coming out on my plum. So the plum is there. My blueberries are coming on. Lovely. You can see them start budding out there. So those are some of the blueberries there. This is my sunburst cherry. That one is coming out before the rest of the cherries. So the rest of the cherries are over there. But they are not budding out like the sun burst. So the sun burst is coming out first. So that's my lovely cherry. This one bears so much. It's quite compact and it bears a lot. And you can see the buds are coming out everywhere. Beautiful, beautiful. So that's the blueberry bush. Here's another blueberry bush budding out nicely as well. Guys, spring is on the way. If you look at these beautiful buds coming out, then we know spring is definitely on the way the aronia berry over there is budding out so that's my aronia otherwise known as choke berry here's another blueberry coming out beautifully so many buds oh i cannot wait for nice pancake and smoothie i love blueberries so much and they're so expensive in a shop so having your own blueberry is so nice mine's are they're all in pots as you know blueberry is one of those plants that actually love to be grown in pots because you can manage the soil much better to make it as acidic as they like so that's my sunshine blue my evergreen blueberry didn't shed its leaf it's evergreen and you can see it's putting out a lot of shoots a lot of new leaves coming out but this it's at the back because i'm going to eat all these three lovely blueberry at the front first because these are summer bearing so they're at the front and then when these are finished then i'll be moving over to my autumn early winter blueberry over there this is my lovely john of gold apple tree going straight up and you can see it's budding out already so this is my john of gold john of gold apple i've done a lot of graphing on it and some of the graphing are actually taken so we're going to do a different video on those so i have different apples grafted on the one john gold apple tree here and most of the graph have taken so i will do another video on how i did the graph and talk about the different type of apples and pear that is on it so that's my lovely john gold budding out so i have some asparagus still covered hopefully in the next two weeks when the weather warms up i can uncover them and see what's going on but i just leave them there for now this is my tay berry you know tay berry is one of the first one we can eat from in late spring before the raspberries and all those things so you can see the buds coming out i've trimmed it a lot if you remember from previous videos, there was so much. So I cut it all back so it can have um, hair flowing through nicely. And you can see it's budding everywhere. So it's almost time to have berries. So that's my late winter garden tour. You can see things budding out. So I have some early potatoes in there that I have sown. When did I plant those potatoes? Just over a week, so I have some potatoes in there. This is one of the raspberry cane. Raspberry cane budding out there as well. So these are my summer bearing raspberries. So these are some summer bearing raspberry going on there. You can see, isn't that beautiful? Winter is almost finished. And then come spring, summer, and time to eat all these lovely berries the raspberry over there that's an autumn bearing raspberry so i love raspberries so much and blueberries so i have berries for summer and berries for autumn 
So I'll be eating berries right up until autumn when it starts getting cold. So that's some of my berries. I have three in the pomegranate. I'll go through that another day. I'm not going to take off the plate. It's a bit chilly today. This is my Chilean guava. Grow very, very slowly. But it's such a sturdy plant. It's only young. It did produce for me last year, but it bear up to the freezing, frost, and cold, and snow, and it survived. Then over here, you have my beautiful mustard green. This mustard green is much, much stronger and to cold tolerant than I ever imagined. It's in the garden. The rest of them is in the polytunnel at the allotment. This is in my garden. Totally open, the last heavy frost we had, I thought it was dead. It was looking like this. And I thought it was like totally gone. But it sprung back up. It's beautiful. And the babies were thought was a total gone. Huh? They're coming up. So this is my gooseberry. And it's coming up. We're only in February. We're still in winter. But the plants are edging to go. You can see new shoots everywhere. That's an elephant garlic. The rest of them is at the allotment. My son asked me to keep one at home. So that's my elephant garlic in the second year. So it should form a lovely bulb underneath. So there is the gooseberry. Pointy thorns there. They're so painful. So be careful. I don't have the thornless one. These thorns are very, very sharp and they stick in the earth. But it's coming up beautifully. So things is happening in the garden. Then over there I have my kiwi. I uncovered a later date. And I have my low quart still covered. And then the roses are coming out. Spring is definitely on the way. You can see my rose bush pushing out. It's beautiful. Coming up there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Then the garden still have... Um... So here's my bay leaf. Growing on lovely. And then I have two little ones. And there's another little one right there. So it's growing up lovely. Before I repotted it. It was struggling and since I reported it last summer, it's just striving. So as soon as spring comes, you know, this is going to just shoot away. And then that was um, some strawberry runners I was saving for someone. These are some wild garlic going on there and my strawberry patch is still covered. Going inside the polytunnel to see if there's anything nice in here. Then you can see this is a yellow raspberry and it's shooting up nicely. Look at all those buds coming through. Guys, I'm so excited. The freeze is almost finished. It's time for the car garden for 2021 to commence. So this is a winter tour. I think this is going to be my last winter tour. So this is my winter tour of my garden and this is another raspberry i love raspberry then this grape vine was outside last year and i had some issue with splitting of the grapes because i had um excess heat excess rain wasn't loving it so i repotted it in a bigger pot carried it inside a polytunnel to protect it from our british weather and you can see buds are coming out already Today is the 25th of February 2021 and you can see buds coming out all over on my grape vine. Isn't that beautiful? Buds everywhere. Guys, it's almost spring. Here's my lemon balm. Survived the winter. Didn't shed much leaves. But as you know, with lemon balm, it loves to spread. Look at the amount of of new plants and all these happen over winter look how quickly it's spreading so i have loads of lemon balm coming up so i can put some in some different pots because this one going to be too much there's even a little baby one coming up there so you can see loads and loads of lemon balm this is another grape this didn't do well over winter i bought this one in late autumn so this one is not doing well 
so I had to come and trim back again this week and hopefully it will spring back up when the weather changes so this one is not doing too well but I've grafted um, I've got I've cut this one over autumn and I managed to get a nice little and grape growing inside so I have more than one grape then I have some early potatoes popping their heads up spring is on the way look at those lovely potatoes shooting up so I have potatoes shooting up there which is lovely I have few scattering of giant um, winter spinach coming on here as well so there's few things I have few more potatoes coming up I have few chards that I need to cut back and plant outside when it would have changed so there's few things going on spring is definitely on the way it's almost time for 2021 gardening so that's it for my late winter tour so thanks for watching if you like my content please click that like button and please remember to like share and subscribe and comment below what's coming up in your garden at the moment or what are you planting out because spring is on the way so let me know what you're doing in your garden at the moment i just think these nose drops are so beautiful look at the insides they're so delicate yet they're holding on they're not breaking off just beautiful so comment below what you're doing what's your prep and then next time so happy gardening thanks for watching thanks for viewing take care now bye bye like share subscribe and click the notification bell